hello and uh, welcome everyone so this is another video and we are going to talk about another example which is stack overflow jobs and what we are going to scrap is we are going to scrap this content like number of jobs this is a paginated results you can go to page number two and here you will get another set of jobs right and keep going through this and you will get a uh, available jobs in the market currently for the developers for different roles okay so this we will try to scrap from page so this is the landing page what we will do is we will launch this page from puppeteer so we are using the same script okay and uh, in the index.js we are launching it so here we have to inspect like after launching this page for which particular ID we should wait. So if we go and try to inspect these. And all these results are coming inside list results, right? So we can wait for list results to appear on the DOM. So wait for selectors and here we will get uh, uh, content. and piece dot content this is how we'll get the content there are many ways of uh, doing this what you can do is uh, using puppeteer apis also if you look at the documentation so puppeteer also provides all the different ways where you can pass x path selectors to select a dom node so if uh, we just look at uh, is dot evaluate method so what it does is you can pass the functions and you can evaluate based on the selectors which you are passing okay it starts from um, so there are a lot of methods on this so these are important one piece dot dollar dollar eval piece dot dollar dollar you just pass the selector here you pass the selector and there is a callback function and piece dot single dollar okay to query a particular piece so these are the important methods using that also you can actually inspect the page you can get the inner html content of a dom node you can get a children of a particular dom node all these options are available using puppeteer also here what we are going to do is we got the content and from this content we are going to click on to each and every link so because it is going to open the the detailed uh, job description page for each and every link so we have to navigate to that page and we have to scrap the data from that particular link or you can do a click here you can see the page description is getting changed for this so you have to take care if you are clicking here it is navigating you to the different page if you are clicking on to here if you are just clicking on to this li tag which is there So here if you try to see what is happening here, if you click on to this, then it will obviously take you to that particular page. But if you just click on to this particular DOM node, then it will not take you to the another page. It will just display the description here, right hand side. And we can actually get the information from this selector using job detail right job selected results preview where we are getting the job title experience required requirement job description blah 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 all this information right so first what we will do is we are getting the content so let's try to inspect the dom using cheer io get job data load html so we got this content so we will just call this method now we get job data all the examples are showing the same kind of structure where you are getting the HTML calling method and getting the links. But you can also explore the, the puppeteer method, native method itself to extract out the DOM and get the values. So here what we will do is here we will look for, uh, here we are going to search for list results okay 
or we can make it little better what we can do is instead of going to list uh, results and uh, looking for each and every node there should be some class i think yes underscore job is a class we can get all the children using this okay here we should get each and it's a callback i comma element okay we got this element so this element we got and this element we can just play around to get what we need from this element so here we should be able to get these attributes i think this attribute will give us a lot of information which is data preview url okay let's see if we can get this data preview url as an attribute of this node and i will just try to print it in the console so that we can see if we are getting the right results okay let's run this okay we are getting these and these links can be helpful we are going to run this in the headless mode okay right so we got these links now we can navigate to these links one by one these should be if we just go through this yes this is representing a particular job link right okay so we can get all the links from here you can say const link and this is all links you are getting so you can run a for of loop so we are getting all the links we can just run a loop onto it and here we just do await page dot go to go to uh, we have one is a main url which is stack or for dot com sorry and we are just adding this link here so this link is having forward slash so we can skip adding this here it is going to launch this now we can actually look into what is the dom node which we need so we can just look into job detail header wait for this so we can say await is dot wait for selector and once we we are able to launch the page what we can do is page content we can get using await page dot content the current page content and we dump it to another method i mean these are the easiest way to uh, scrap a particular page where you don't need to struggle a lot get current page job data and we are dumping the page content to this now it's on us how we are going to inspect because we are looking for page detail and here we have all the information so h1 tag is the the link and the position and all so fs headline one okay, let's see the tags fs black all this information description job description we can get by just calling this fs subheading ok 
okay about us so all this information we should be able to grab the the technologies and tag so these are the tags if you see fs subheading technologies i think these are like common classes we need to be a little smart here fs subheading can i use it okay it's being used at many places we can't use it as a common class so let's try to find out something else so here if i want to just get the set of technologies and what i can see fc dark okay these are the tags right because we have a specific tags available post tag so we can just get with these class names i mean you should not be worried about performance in this particular case okay i think there are many tags available but post tags of the the current job we are looking for so there should be something which can help us so what we can do is we can just check for fs subheading for mb32 inside that we have these tags there should be some active class or something which is associated to this element because this is the current job being displayed okay job detail content okay we should do every all these things inside job detail content because job detail content is available till the bottom i guess and then there are similar jobs okay let's move it to the sidebar and try to see now we need something which just cover only this much content Okay, let's move to the top. Okay, overview items. It is moving till. Okay, this can help. We can just look inside overview items and can get the description, everything about this current job. And this is not coming many times. We can just look for this particular selector. Is this an ID? Okay. So here we have overview items. We'll just look into this. And inside overview items, we have all the information about this. This. inside every section i can look for span tag and try to get the text i think this should work here i'm looking into inside this and then for each and every child like I, if i'm inside this section i will look for span tag okay so here there are multiple span tags So what find does so da, da, da. let's see if we are able to get this. I will try to run a debugger here. Okay, we can also run a debugger and just check this out. Uh, this is going to perform okay so here we entered into this let's go to debug terminal so the length is 6 it is correct so here it is not going to return us anything 
the stellante 6 it is going to do a job type so we can actually iterate on to this span dot length here we can do each right okay i got an idea work on so we can do a for each sorry each on this span tag and inside each we can actually get uh, the every element text so here we got alum and we are trying to print the text so this should work i think let's see we can uh, run debugger again okay this is working this is how we are getting the values so this is working so this is how we are able to get the values of each and every node first we are looking into overview items then for every children of overview items we are looking for section and finding out all the span tags there we are getting the job type full time uh, job type and experience level the rules job type for each and every iteration right so this is how we can use puppeteer and cheer io to just pair up together and scrap the content now you can return an object similarly you can navigate to each and every link here you got these links and you are navigating to each and every links and getting all this data if i just try to terminate this and see this in the different mode headless false and run this in the terminal Now what it is good doing is it is going to look for each and every job at least 25 on the page one and going to give us all the information about uh, the job title and the technologies experience level on alone okay so this is all guys uh, in the scrapping the web with node.js using these two libraries and these two libraries are enough for scrapping any kind of website